Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the series of uh, what is LNG or LNG uh, operations uh, fundamentals. So uh, before uh, starting our uh, first video of the series, uh, please uh, press subscribe for our uh, energy oil and gas uh, Muhammad Gamil uh, channel so please uh, do not forget to uh, subscribe uh, before watching uh, this video thank you uh, so uh, the first uh, video so this is a series about LNG operations and this is our first video for this uh, operation so uh, as uh, as you all know that uh, LNG has gained and immense attraction and progress in, uh, in the last uh, few years and with the LNG business projected uh, so the needs to understand uh, LNG operations became a real, uh, a real value uh, this, uh, this including the commercial and uh, technical risks of uh, uh, this business and for uh, LNG value uh, chain and operation uh, so uh, this uh, series of uh, training about LNG fundamentals will cover uh, the technical aspects and practical commercial consideration in LNG, uh, like uh, operation activities, uh, terminals activities uh, through uh, to LNG uh, transportation, and this course also will uh, will cover. Uh, will cover the uh, LNG custody transfer measurements and we will touch on some LNG measurement calculations. Uh, so the objective of uh, this uh, series actually, so we will gain an overview and uh, of the fundamentals of the uh, entire LNG process uh, chain. Also we'll understand the LNG processing operation uh, from both liquefaction and terminal uh, perspective and uh, uh, we will uh, try to manage or how to, we will study how to manage uh, between LNG supply transportation contracts and shipping documents and we will examine the LNG safety uh, and associated uh, risk and the requirement to better manage uh, the LNG uh, operation. Uh, so uh, LNG fundamentals, uh, so this is an uh, introduction to uh, your uh, speaker. So my name is Mohamed Gamil, I'm a production uh, team lead. Uh, so this is a uh, uh, history and currently production manager in West Nile Delta project. And here is a couple of photos uh, of the events I have uh, done uh, so far. Uh, so uh, the course actually the main elements uh, will be covered during uh, this course is uh, the LNG basics, the LNG operations uh, technology, element number three uh, is about uh, the LNG custody transfer and finally last but not the least uh, LNG uh, safety. So here is uh, here is the main uh, the main four uh, elements will be discussed during the coming uh, series of uh, videos. Uh, so uh, as uh, as I have just mentioned, we will talk about uh, the LNG introduction basics. What is LNG? What is uh, what is gas? What is liquefaction? What is a stranded gas, which actually uh, promotes uh, the LNG uh, industry, what, what, what does heating value means, etc., etc. Also, we will touch about the LNG operations, the liquefaction technology, what are the main operations of liquefaction and regasification for LNG. This, this is the core part, actually, this element is the core part of uh, this uh, series and element number three about the LNG custody transfer uh, measurement for the LNG and finally, uh, uh, as you said, element for LNG safety. Uh, so, so what is uh, natural? Uh, what is natural gas? Uh, so, let me just adjust something. So. 
natural gas. So natural gas actually comes from uh, comes from the uh, reservoir, the oil and gas uh, trap uh, beneath the Earth's crust. Uh, it's naturally occurs and uh, it can be produced uh, 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 as a non non associated uh, produced as non associated uh, gas. So when produced with crude oil, it's also called as uh, associated uh, gas. Natural gas mainly is a fossil uh, fossil fuel. Uh, so sources of uh, the natural uh, gas. So as we said, this natural gas in the reservoir that doesn't contain any oil called non-associated. So if it does not contain any condensate or crude oil, we call it as non-associated gas. And if uh, non-associated gas, that's uh, the, the definition of the non-associated gas, uh, will, uh, will typically contain uh, some concentration of uh, heavier hydrocarbons, a little bit, yeah, any concentration of heavier hydrocarbons, and uh, will have a higher concentration of uh, CO2 and, uh, and uh, nitrogen. Uh, so, gas reserve uh, that also contain oil or uh, crude oil, I mean, or condensate called associated, associated gas. Associated gas uh, typically uh, include bile heavier hydrocarbons such as uh, ethane, propane, butane, uh, and the shorthand C2, C3, C4, and C5+. So here is the difference. So we have uh, defined what is natural gas, like fossil fuel, beneath, uh, beneath the earth crust, and uh, we have now differentiates between the associated and non-associated uh, gases. Uh, so uh, uh, why 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 we have like uh, uh, the challenge uh, of the growth or uh, behind the growth of uh, the natural uh, gas? As we said, the higher the higher prices of uh, the crude oil, uh, uh, the needs of uh, the new technologies, uh, the challenge between the supply and uh, and the demand. So this uh, this promotes uh, the needs of the natural the natural gas. So natural gas can be transported by uh, by two main uh, by two main uh, means over uh, long distances uh, either by uh, uh, either transported by a, a pipeline uh, by a pipeline or uh, by a pipeline or uh, uh, through uh, ships uh, as a liquefied, liquefied and natural, liquefied natural gas. Sorry. So what is what is LNG then? Uh, it's LNG is a liquefied natural gas. So uh, the natural gas is liquefied or cooled, let us say, up to minus 162 degree uh, uh, Celsius. So when it's cooled up to uh, up to this minus 160 degrees Celsius, so uh, we call it uh, liquefied natural gas. At this temperature, the natural gas condenses uh, to the liquid uh, state, which almost at the atmospheric atmospheric pressure. So we liquefy it by reducing the temperature. Uh, so liquefaction reduces the volume of the natural gas by approximately 600 times. Uh, here is uh, one of uh, one of uh, the very important definition, as I said in the introduction, which promotes promotes uh, the LNG industry, which is a stranded gas. So more than one more than one third of uh, one third or forty percent of the global conventional natural gas is a stranded. So stranded gas is essentially gas that proved proved or um, uh, actually existing at a remote areas, which is uh, which is uh, 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 face logistical or, or these stranded gases actually face logistical and economical uh, economical uh, uh, barriers. 
okay? Uh, so one of one of uh, one of the countries actually uh, get more gain or uh, get benefits from the stranded gas is uh, the U.S. Actually, uh, stranded gas, as we said, is a gas that not close to the market uh, at remote areas, uh, so requires significant infrastructure, offshore infrastructure, uh, to be transported to the market. So, uh, so here is what we call it: uh, 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 stranded, uh, stranded gas. As we said, gas wells in Oklahoma and Texas that are close to an existing but wouldn't be considered uh, stranded. This is just to give you some sense about what is stranded and what is not stranded gases. Stranded gases also can be like associated or non-associated or so, or like like uh, like normally. Uh, what is hydrocarbon found in natural gas? So, the hydrocarbon may be identified by name chemical composition or uh, industry abbreviations, so methane, ethane, propane, etc. So, if, if the composition is more than 90% of, uh, of the CH4, so we call it natural gas. And as, as you all know, there is no sharp separation between uh, the different hydrocarbons. Uh, so, so no sharp separation. So, uh, in the natural gas, you will find traces of the C2, C3, C4, uh, etc. Uh, so, this table shows some uh, of these uh, terms. Uh, um, um, so, and we have used a shorthand for each uh, for each uh, component. So hydrocarbon, hydrocarbons in general saying it's a crude oil and the gas constituents as a type of fossil fuel known as hydrocarbon. So it mainly contains, it mainly contains uh, hydrogen atoms and the carbon atoms. And because the molecules of these fuels are a combination of, uh, so, so the, the, the term hydrocarbon came from that these uh, components or these uh, fossil fuel contains the hydrogen and the carbon and the carbon atoms. So um, uh, sometimes we use the, we use the, uh, the letter uh, plus, that uh, was a simple plus the letter C, so it indicate to indicate that heavier, uh, so C, C2 plus means C2 and heavier and heavier hydrocarbons. So because of the composition, the composition controls the many uh, operations in the LNG uh, industry, so we have to know uh, the composition of uh, the natural gas. So composition between hydrocarbons, as we said, and the non-hydrocarbons materials. So the components or the constituents of the natural gas is hydrocarbons and the non-hydrocarbons. Uh, so uh, even though the, pipe, uh, the pipeline gas had been processed to remove most of the non-hydrocarbons, we still uh, might need, we still might found, sorry, uh, some traces of non-hydrocarbons. Uh, so, so, so hydrocarbons. We we talked about hydrocarbons, C one, C two, C three, etc. And uh, the non-hydrocarbons is like nitrogen, helium, uh, carbon uh, dioxide, uh, hydrogen sulfide, some odorants, mercury, etc. So, is the non-hydrocarbons which will not freeze the nitrogen and helium. It, with the, the non-hydrocarbons, which has a potential uh, 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 to freeze, is a CO2, H2, H2S, and uh, mercury. Uh, so before any liquefaction, before any operation of uh, LNG uh, producing, uh, any compounds that will freeze during the liquefaction must be removed as uh, practically as as uh, possible. Uh, so if uh, if we do not uh, remove, so we will have plug filters, plug the heat exchangers, nozzles, and the process uh, many process upset. So removal of these uh, moisture uh, called the dehydration or removal of the moisture of the gas called the dehydration. Removal of the CO2 and H2S uh, called sweetening, and it, you will, uh, we will study uh, these two uh, operations in a different series of uh, videos. 
Time of quiz, true or false. Burning off, methane release, carbon monoxide, water vapor. So when we burn methane, as it releases, uh, as it releases carbon monoxide, water vapor, the same compounds which we breathe. It's not tricky uh, quiz there. So yes, uh, correct. Yeah, the answer is true. Uh, so when methane when methane uh, burn it uh, produces uh, carbon monoxide and water vapor. So uh, the second term. So we have identified natural gas, hydrocarbons, associated, non-associated gas, uh, stranded gas, and now the term heating value. So each hydrocarbon component in the natural gas has a, a certain value of heating. So the heating value is defined as amount of heat, may be expressed in BTU, amount of heat released by a standard cubic foot of gas when burning. Higher heating value is commonly used for LNG. Higher heating uh, takes a credit of the latent heat of water in uh, combustion. We will talk about the latent heat. I think and sensible heat in uh, another slide. So many units of heat like BTU. BTU is defined as a quantity of heat required, quantity of heat which is required to raise the temperature of one pound of water, one degree Fahrenheit. Okay, so another uh, very important term is the WOOP index. So the WOOP index, which is equivalent to uh, somehow different, but which is equivalent to the API in, uh, in, uh, in crude oil industry. So the WOOP index, uh, the WOOP index developed to characterize the similarity of the gas mixture based on the heat release from uh, combustion. So, so a WOOP index actually is an international standard most widely accepted standard uh, uh, used in order to uh, express our parameter to determine the upper and the lower limit of the gas composition, uh, specified in gas sales or import contracts, so to express a quality of, uh, of the gas. So LNG composition and heating value vary significantly among different export uh, terminals. So as you can see here, so we have uh, example here, it's a Nigerian LNG. So the methane is 87.9 uh, uh, for Oman, for example, it's 90% for uh, Kenai LNG is 99%. So here is uh, how the LNG composition varies between, uh, between different, different countries. Um, composition and heating value. So, so as uh, um, in order to, if, yeah, the heating value varies according to the composition. So, a natural gas is not uh, a created, uh, so it's not created equal. So, the natural gas is different from side to side, from country to country. The heating value of the natural gas uh, varies depending on depending on the composition. So. Uh, Rule of thumb, general saying. So uh, the heating value of uh, the ethane is higher than the methane. Uh, the propane is higher than uh, ethane and methane, etc. So as long as we go through the, the, the hydrocarbon chain, simply as the carbon atoms uh, increases, so so C2 is uh, C2 heating value is higher than C1, C3 is higher than C2, C2 and C1, etc. etc. So uh, and the price of the natural gas uh, determined based on its heating its heating uh, value. Uh, so uh, here is a table which determines. So for example, C2 uh, it's 1,770 BTU per uh, per scar. Uh, C5 is 4,009 BTU per standard cubic uh, foot in pound but per gallon. So you will find that the LNG. Uh, is 81.7, the diesel is 128. Uh, 
we call them as impurities because uh, they uh, they have no uh, heating they have no heating value uh, so they, we call the, them an inert gases because they are a non-reactive and reduces the heating value of the natural uh, gas. Uh, by the way, uh, nitrogen, uh, they called it also as a silent, a silent killer uh, because it kills when you breathe the pure nitrogen. Uh, here is uh, uh, the last definition uh, we need to know is about uh, the difference between specific heat and latent heat. So I will give you an example, uh, a good example to differentiate between the specific heat and uh, we called it uh, we, we called it uh, a sensible uh, sensible heat, okay? And the latent heat and the latent heat uh, so is the amount of heat that which is necessary or required to it changes the phase, so uh, it changes from the liquid phase into uh, the gas phase. The last, uh, the last one is the specific heat. Uh, we call it some uh, specific heat, also called the sensible heat, as we said. Sorry again. Uh, so we, we said that uh, sensible heat now and the uh, the specific the specific heat. Phase number two. End of the session with a squeeze. So, how many miles of natural gas in US? Can you imagine how many miles? It's not about the figure, but uh, so how many miles of natural gas pipeline in the uh, United States? Is it 128? Is it 238? Is it 275? Is it 3,000 miles of, uh, of? What do you think? Yes, correct. That's the sea sound. It's the biggest number. Yeah. So it gives you an indication of a, a massive number of miles of pipelines and of natural gas pipelines inside uh, the US. Uh, we came to we came to the end of uh, this video. Uh, this is our first video for uh, our uh, series. So please again uh, do not uh, forget to subscribe, uh, enjoy our channel, and wait for uh, uh, wait for the coming uh, what wait for our coming uh, videos. Thank you. Bye bye.